Hey all Reckoners, today's indie game is Herald. This is a clearly Kickstarter demo. It's a point and click adventure game and I'm playing it because it has really gorgeous art and I really like the setting. Um, I, I end my list of things I like there because it's very hard to make a compelling demo for a point and click adventure game because at least for me, the biggest appeal to point and click adventure games is they're generally very story driven like it's because you're probably gonna spend a lot of time walking back and forth as you're lost trying to figure out puzzles in this world so it's good looking which has going for it but it has to be interesting which is also has going for it but because it's a demo there's only like three or four different rooms so I completely understand you either don't have the assets yet or don't want you don't want to give away too much in the demo and that's completely understandable so just 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 trying to set you up for a little bit of expectations because though the demo didn't blow me away um it did get me to to go to the kickstarter page so uh, in the description below will be a link to the kickstarter page i'm not sure what link i'll have yet i'm I'll either have you know the usual link to the website where i found this or uh on the kickstarter page so you told me that it was night something something this is basically this is couched as a as a story being told to somebody else. So you're telling the story of what happened to you in the past. Something like that. So it's pretty graphics. Note edited journal. There's a gun missing aboard the Herald. The boatswain has asked me to find the thief before the captain does. If he finds out, we'll all be in trouble. One of the crew members told me that Officer Brunswick hides a spare key somewhere near his cabin. My investigations have led me to the cabin of First Officer Rupert Brunswick. I should sneak in while he is running his shift. I was told by the boat swing that the captain has forbidden all crew members to bear arms, even officers. That cad. Officers should always bear weapons. All the barrels were filled with the rum. I wouldn't be surprised if these, these were placed there on special request, if you know what I mean. Check out this thing. The closet was closed. I wondered what skeletons it was hiding. I actually played this so long ago, and by that I mean less than a week. I forgot where everything was. The pitcher came to spare key to Officer Brunswick's cabin. Hooray! I was not able to open the door behind me. And by behind you, you mean this one. Let's investigate. It's a little, cute little writing desk. Give me that sextant. A beautiful brass sextant was sitting on Brunswick's writing slope. I recalled a teacher telling me how this complex device worked. I had no idea. Ooh, what's this? What's that? Dear Brunswick, I was pleased to hear that you agree with me that the official guidelines regarding gun policy are outdated. This I have just, thus I have decided to reserve the use of firearms for emergencies only. On a side note, you might have noticed a draft coming from the bookcase in your room. There is a loose panel there that needs to be fixed. Until then, it should not be much of a problem if you put a couple of books against it. Yours sincerely, Cordelius. Cornelius Hendricks. It seemed that the captain had a discussion with Officer Brunswick about gun policy. The letter was also talking about a draft coming from the bookcase in Brunswick's room. Got that. Give me that. Compass? I wondered if Brunswick's moral compass was as trustworthy as the one on his desk. The moral compass on his desk? I got the sudden urge to write something obscene in one of Brunswick's books, but I realized that this was an incredibly stupid idea. The Merchant Navy Handbook. An example of morality, regularity, and good order, all who may be subject to this command. Article 4. Every officer is to conduct himself in the uh, discharge of his duties with the most perfect respect to his superiors. I can't read and the most implicit obedience to his orders. Every officer is on all occasions to show to all something officers every degree of respect and attention. Okay, I'm not, let me see. Article five. Every officer in the merchant navy from the time of his joining the ship to which we sh he shall be appointed to that of his being discharged from it is allowed to carry a firearm while performing his duties and is to keep said arm at all times clean and in good condition. Looking through the Merchant Navy's handbook, I discovered that officers are usually allowed to carry guns, but other members of the crew 
aren't interested in books. What are these? There were books about navigation, geography, mathematics, and poetry. None of them even looked interesting. None of them looked very interesting to me. Okay, I think we have interacted with all of the things. About face. Let's uh, check out this thing. You there, old woman. On the top shelf stood a portrait of a stern looking man. I later learned it was Brunswick's mother. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was a woman. A loose board was cleverly hidden behind a couple of books. I came with my finger. Behind the loose wall board was a cleverly hidden compartment containing a single booklet. It seemed to be Brunswick's journal. Oh dear. While going through Brunswick's journal, I stumbled upon a passage about a hole in the wall that was covered with a painting. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, we get it. Hole in the wall. You summarized it very well. Thank you so much. Devin. I was surprised to find Brunswick's spyglass in here. You'd think a navigator would take that with him at all times. Does that mean he's coming back? The entire bookcase was devoted to poetry. Among them were some of the most famous works by Shakespeare, Byron, and Poe. Okay. Let's check out this picture. Let's check out that one, yeah. The one I can click on. A painting of the night sky was hanging on the wall. The use of colors was striking. Um. Oh, I can. Oh my! I can move around. I actually didn't know that. That picture is better. The painting seemed to have been moved recently behind it with a small gap between the planks. Peekaboo! Oh my, he's playing with his his weapon. How embarrassing for him. Let's talk to Ludlow. What? What's the hut? Is there someone spying on me? Um. I apologize, Ludlow. M. No, I never knew this was here. I'm sorry. Devin, what are you doing in there? Are you snooping around? I didn't expect you to be that kind of person. I told Ludlow I was searching for the missing gun. No, I'm looking for a missing gun, and I think I just found it. Come into my cabin, I'll unlock the door for you. Oh, I don't trust you, Ladlow. What do you have to say for yourself, Ladlow? Before you start, please listen to me, Devin. I know it's against the captain's rules and all, but some rules are there to be broken. I asked Ludlow if he was alright. Are you willing to explain to me what's wrong? You seem troubled? Oh, I'm fine, don't worry. I wasn't secretly plotting to go on a killing spree tonight, but but you never know. I, I might change my mind. Um, I told Ludlow I was worried. I'm just a little worried, Ludlow. What are you actually going to do with that thing? I hope you were not trying to... I am not suicidal, it's just... It's just not fair, Devin. I know the Merchant Navy handbook from cover to cover. It says clearly that every officer is allowed to bear arms. Every officer, Devin. I'm an officer, so why don't I get to exercise my rights aboard the Herald? Um, I asked Ludlow why the gun was so important to him. Why is the right to carry a gun so important to you? Forget the damn gun, Devin. It's not about that. I just want the captain to know that if Brunswick gives up his rights, it doesn't automatically mean that I'll give up mine as well. For some reason, I'm always expected to do as the white man does. I'm never trusted to make my own decisions. Sometimes I feel like I'm an officer in nothing but name. Uh, I told Ludlow to return the gun. You won't achieve any recognition by breaking the captain's rules. If an officer wants respect, he has to deserve it. I won't tell anybody you took the gun, but only if you return it to the weapon's cache. If you do, then do it now before the shift chains and everyone wakes up. Changes. Oh my gosh, nobody expects suspension inquisition. Oh, I'm afraid it's too late for that. I should have said my captain's voice for him, Goramit. I was born in the east. Adopted. That's exactly what I said. Raised in the west. In a home away from home. Proud citizen of the Protectorate. Of Menoth. Nice. 
I like rooster motifs. When I decided to search for my roots, I knew things would change. Look at that, look at that friggin' alliance fist weapon. Things did change. And that blood elf glaivish thing. Not glaive, what do you call this? Change. Do I regret my choice? You tell me. Maybe. Oh dear. Do I regret boarding the Herald? The Herald? No. Adventure and all that jazz. Wispfire. That's a cool logo. Name. Thank you for playing our demo. We hope you enjoyed this first look at Harold. There's still much to discover about Devin Rensburg and the Protectorate. If you haven't already, please consider backing our Kickstarter so we can make the full game in reality. Cool. So yeah, that's Harold. Definitely check it out for yourself. Try and choose some of those other options to see uh, what kind of differences. You know, there are the demo, so it's probably not gonna be any but you might uncover some cool dialogue that i you know missed because i chose my choices anyway yeah harold um looks like a good choose your own adventure point and click puzzle kind of thing uh one thing i generally appreciate in my point and click puzzles and this is when i don't have to backtrack a lot um broken age has me doing that a lot but that's generally Generally my own fault. So this is good to have really spread. i don't know it's a mixed bag anyway the point the point of that was this looks like a very excellent point and click adventure. I really like this setting. Um, yeah, very, very, I'm very curious about the story. So definitely check that out. Check out the Kickstarter, etc., etc. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'm Fohamner, and you're not. Bang. Pew. Aw, oh, man, it's not even loaded all shit. Pew. Oh, take that. Bang. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Pew. I'm a pirate. Yeah. Come on. Just... Boom, sucker. I'm gonna fry you, plow.